Hello everyone and welcome to Madden Simulated Monday Night Football Week 1. This week we have Matty Ice, Matt Ryan, and the Atlanta Falcons playing host to Crazy Eyes Sam Bradford and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles would win the opening coin toss and receive the opening kickoff, returning it for 21 yards, and then fans in Philadelphia got to see their first look at newly acquired quarterback Sam Bradford in a trade with St. Louis for former Eagles quarterback Nick Foles. Unfortunately, the opening drive was not what they had hoped for. After a big loss on first down and a small gain up the middle, the new look Eagles offense presented results that looked a lot like the old look Eagles offense, forcing them into a third and long. And despite a good throw and catch from Bradford to Selleck, the Eagles would be marked just short of a first down, forcing them into a three and out. On the other side of the ball, the Philadelphia front seven was as advertised flying to the football and crushing the running back for a short yardage or loss of yards on every one of his carries. Through the air would be a different story. Veteran Matt Ryan completed his first three passes, easily picking apart the inexperienced Philadelphia Eagles secondary. But despite the very impressive performance by Matt Ryan, the Atlanta Falcons found themselves in a third and long situation and it was veteran Malcolm Jenkins making a big hit on a receiver as the ball got to him, jarring it loose and forcing an Atlanta punt. The next Eagles drive would embody what the fans have come to expect from their team over the last several decades. So much talent, so much excitement, so much potential, ending in ultimate disappointment and failure. On the ensuing drive, Matt Ryan would continue his very impressive performance, completing five out of seven of his passes for 60 yards, ultimately leading his team into the end zone for a touchdown and giving his Atlanta Falcons a 7-0 lead over the Philadelphia Eagles in what has turned into a surprisingly defensive struggle game. Short passes and ball control were the story of the third quarter for the Atlanta offense as they even got the running game involved and managed to eat up nearly the entire third quarter of time of possession before eventually punting the ball back to the Philadelphia Eagles. On the first drive of the fourth quarter, Philadelphia Eagles fans finally got introduced to who Sam Bradford truly is when he's at the top of his game. He was nearly perfect, moving the Eagles 60 yards down the field and putting them in position for the tying touchdown when tragedy would strike. Ch head coach Chip Kelly learned a very hard lesson that you do not run the read option with a quarterback who has had two torn ACLs in the last two years. The injury to Sam Bradford would remove him for the rest of the game, putting the in any hopes of a comeback squarely on the shoulders of Mark Sanchez, who would immediately remind everyone that he was a first-round pick in his own day. With one minute remaining in the fourth quarter, the Eagles' defense would come up big when it mattered the most, allowing their offense just under 40 seconds and one timeout to try and win the game in regulation. The tension was palpable as the nation watched the Philadelphia Eagles' offense step foot on the field, led by veteran backup quarterback Mark Sanchez. 
and the first play of the drive cemented the momentum firmly in the hands of the Philadelphia Eagles as DeMarco Murray broke a big run clear across the 50-yard line. But it was the arm of backup quarterback Mark Sanchez in the hands of second-year receiver Jordan Matthews that would put the Eagles in scoring position. The Eagles would then take their final timeout with just five seconds remaining on the clock. An offense that had been beaten into submission for three and a half quarters of football now stood with an opportunity to kick the ball through the uprights to win the game in regulation. You could hear a pin drop in the stadium as 60,000 people collectively held their breaths waiting for the outcome of what would be an extremely dramatic first week of Monday Night Football. Thanks for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content and make sure you check back next week as we will be previewing the New York Jets at the Indianapolis Colts. Goodbye!